Okay, knives are good backup option when you run out of ammo. I kind of like the idea of just like running around just knifing people, but I need a provincial oh, hi. backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Didn't we? Yeah, we already heard that one. All right. So we're going to take the long way around if we can. We want to hit up a merchant for sure. Where's a merchant? Merchant's all the way out there. Okay, so we're going to just take the top route. Well, it's a camp. That's awkward. Immediately start camping? Rest up. Does nothing. But nice to take a nap. So yeah, it looks like money carries over as well between every run. So we are we are actually quite loaded. Oh. Uh, there's like a lower path that comes up. Anyway, not far away, you see vultures circling in the sky. In the desert, that could mean all kinds of things. So you decide to investigate. You climb to the top of a dune to get a good view. You see the remains of a German soldier. You search through what little the vultures have left behind. The man has been dead for some time. He probably died of thirst. You find a courier bag on his belt. When you open it, a folded map falls out on the hot desert sand. You examine the map. Someone has marked a cross not far from your position. Drive to it. Hidden between some palms, you find a German army crate. When you break it open, you're not sure what to make of the contents. Hundreds of small white pills, neatly packaged in convenient, unlabeled cardboard boxes. Apparently, you've come across some Wehrmacht pharmaceutical supplies, but there's no sign of an instruction manual or anything that might give you clues to strange contents. Take the pills. We'll try. Uh, Miguel. It doesn't take long for the effects to kick in. Miguel seems restless. His movements are jerky. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Come on, we have things to do. Miguel, strangely exhilarated. Okay, well, we don't have a reason to go to the camp, so I think I'm just going to bring us, like, down? We've got a lot of fuel, but we don't have infinite fuel, because what I want to do is probably go... Something like that. But yeah, we just found a German meth stash. You see a lot of tire tracks in the sand, so... Go in with weapons drawn. I'm going to start skipping some of this dialogue, because we've already seen these before. I don't know how many options they have. But if it's something we've already seen before, then I'm just gonna zip straight past it. The Nazi soldiers were hopped up on amphetamines. Yup, they were drugged. Okay, so we've got Zamboners. Most of them are actually down low. A couple are up high. Uh, I'm going to put both of them here. We're going to go for that guy and kind of circle up this way if we can. Now, that zombie only has a certain amount of HP. So actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to shank it. Damn it. That's not the right... Well, it's fine. Is that just a zombie there? That's just a zombie. I'm not sure what skill I just used on the other guy. But I guess it doesn't matter. That's a lot of zombies, by the way. Like, shit. I do kind of wish there was a hat, uh, fast forward button on this. Oh, okay. There's a dude over there. Like, it's not as safe as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so what ability did I use on this guy? Hell if I know. Is that just a regular zombie? Okay. I'm gonna shank him. Gotta remember, shank is the number three button. Okay, well, we got a zombie, a zombie, and I don't even know where the rest are. I'm gonna move here. Here. The impressive shanking, the target exploded. Shh. So there's a spore bearer somewhere here. I feel like they're mythological creatures. Well, blammo. Kill 10 enemies in a single shot. Yeah, so the spore bearer just dies on its own? I'm curious how they function. 
I got to admit, putting on an easier difficulty makes it a little bit uh, easier. Because pretty much you can one-shot a lot more. Okay. Well, we did get a bunch of fuel, so I can... Oh, I should have gone here and then... Eh, whatever. You reach a rocky landscape, interspersed with rugged mess... Uh, massives. A vague smell of sulfur hangs in the air. As you're considering whether to avoid this inhospitable area, you spot a steaming waterhole surrounded by rocks. Turquoise crystals give the edge of the pool an unreal color. You cough as the swaths of acrid steam sting your throats. You want to take a short break or leave immediately. Spec the water. As you relax at the edge of the pool and let your feet dangle on the water, you suddenly see large bubbles rising from the bottom of the water hole. Moments later, a barely perceptible vibration shakes the ground beneath you. You dive for safety, and not a second too soon. A towering fountain of superheated water shoots past you and into the air. Your reflex has saved you from the worst of it, but Miguel has been scalded. Was not worth it. Uh, despite the dryness and heat, a few crippled trees surrounded by some low shrubs survive here. I don't know what's out here. Let's check it out! Excavation site. Open fire. Okay. What do we got? I think this might be one of those games that I actually do a number of runs off camera, level up a little bit, and then uh, kind of come back to it. Not necessarily because I find it boring, but... Um, I almost kind of feel like this game should have uh, should have been designed purely as a uh, a linear experience or partially linear. Okay, shotgun blast, damaging targets in a conical shape in front of you. It uses two ammo. Blast damage is reduced by twenty percent. Gotcha. That Nazi trooper can actually move pretty damn far. And he's dead. But yeah, just turn it on like speed mode, grind, grind for some cool guns, try out some different characters. I'm a little bit disappointed that you don't unlock extra character slots and can use them earlier on. But honestly, I think what I should do is probably just, before I do anything of the sort, just uh, roll on a higher difficulty and just see how fast it scales. I don't know. Okay. We got a shotgun. Do we have anything else? I have no idea. I'm gonna go stick this guy behind cover and we're just gonna blammo the doggo. It feels like I do more damage on top of everything else. But it's certainly a little bit more casual. I, I really was not expecting uh, giving them a 20% HP penalty would really like set them back this much, but yeah. It... Half the time when we were shooting at enemies uh, on the previous rounds, we were more or less barely uh, damaging them. Well, no, we were we were almost killing them. You know, two shots to kill, and so by turning it down by twenty percent, yeah, we it's with the exception of like a handful of particularly tough dudes. Let's see. We're pretty much, like, consistently in a position to... Yeah, one-shot every single human being. All right, there we go. You can pick up characters during missions, and some missions have more starting characters. Oh, that's cool. So, loot and petroleum. Well, it's kind of worth it. I mean, honestly, the more EXP I can grab, the better. How much more EXP is it to level up a second time? Not bad, actually. I want to look at Miguel's skill tree. So, grenade damage, dexterity bonus, reflexes, accuracy. He's a boring character. But, that's fine. And red barrels normally mean explosive. Can you shoot them? Only if they're highlighted. It'll be obvious when you can shoot them. A lonely desert temple rises from the dunes ahead of you. The entrance is half buried, but you manage to squeeze through. Inside, you find a squad of German soldiers. 
run an improvised excavation site. Open fire. I feel like I'm going to be fighting quite a number of the quite a large number of these guys. Okay, so German. We only got four. I'm going to be kind of aggressive here due to the difficulty situation that I've got going on. If it's going to be on easy mode, then I'm going to make the most of it. Why didn't I just shoot that guy? Okay. I don't know if we have more than just dogs around here. That is a sad noise. We've been listening to sad dogs outside in the rain barking and howling recently. Oh, there's the last dude. I was wondering about that. So yeah, sad dogs are, well, kind of unfortunate. Uh, let's see. This will just shoot the dog. Then stab the man. Are we good? Yeah. He did just shoot the guy. I I don't know what I said, but I should have stabbed him. Oh, we found a merchant. We should probably explore a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, it's also... Bulletproof Fest is also heavy armor. Worth it, but still. Oh. Are we just capped out on fuel? I, I guess so. Funny's the maximum. All right. Old altar appears over the next dune. All the dried blood is making you feel uneasy and you move on. I guess let's go to the shop first. Okay, we can buy gas. We can also get these things. I don't know if I care though. We can get a needle and thread. The main problem is the Jeep can only store so much. There's a location of interest to the south. Last time I went to one of those, I was lacking the uh, the appropriate skill. I guess we can go back. I've got fuel, and I can go buy more. Oh. You sneak up in an improvised Wehrmacht camp. Soldiers are piling sandbags. Digging latrine dishes. There's a lot of activity. Off to the side, you see a small barbed wire stockade. Do they have a prisoner? All right. Nope. That might have actually been worth it. We might actually get another character here. Landing phase. Hello. So we have one German. One doggo. One man. Man. Oh, hey. That's the, that's the guy that I almost brought with me. Not a whole lot of people, like, immediately here. All right. Let's see. Now, if I just shoot this man... Problem solved. I should look up the hockey for switching characters. It's not tab, and it throws me off, because it's always tab in these games. I'm kind of confused why not. Okay, is there a timer other than fuel? Nope, just fuel. If I move right here... I think he's just hiding behind the sandbag. He could be hiding behind that wall. But he was not. Anyway. Sup, Poochie! I do feel a bit bad. It'd be nice if there's like a... Uh... It'd be nice if there's a, a no-dog... Uh, option for the game so you don't feel like super amounts of karmic guilt for uh, pugilizing dogs. Okay, I'm just gonna have to shoot it. Like, uh, in... In... Uh, what is it? Uh, it's satisfactory. There's, yeah, it's the arachnophobia mode where it, it replaces uh, spiders with like weird images, kind of, sort of. We can take the items. Do we rescue the dude? Hey, 
He released the prisoner from his bonds, and he shakes your hands ex effusively. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Things would have gone badly without you. Hey, you look like you could do with some help. I don't suppose you have room for another passenger. Add to the team. Danger and hardship, bring it on. All right, so now we got three party members. Yeah, let the doggers run away. Yeah. Like just that option would actually be quite nice. Okay, so now we buy gas. I'll get like two. I'm getting enough cash from this mission anyway. Uh, interesting thing about this game. Ish? In Interesting-ish? I don't know. Really kind of depends on your perspective. I believe Robotality is a German studio. It, it's interesting. Hello. Uh, as you drive around the next dune, you meet a fully loaded Wehrmacht truck coming the other way. The truck makes a tight U-turn in a frantic attempt to escape. Take up chase. You put your foot down and race after the escaping soldiers. You continue to close the distance until you're finally neck and neck with the Germans. With a second thought, Jackson leaps from your speeding jeep into the enemy vehicle, grabbing the driver's wheel. A desperate struggle ensues, and a few moments later, Jackson is thrown headfirst into the desert sands. You hit the brakes and check on Jackson. As the Germans escape, you see Jackson stagger to his feet, bruised and battered, but otherwise unharmed. He limps over to you with a rueful grin. Probably not one of my better ideas. Damn it, Jackson. Okay. I got a decent chunk of fuel. Let's go around. We're gonna re-hit one node I've been to before. But that's okay. Fortified German military camp with barbed wire, sandbags, machine gun nests, places like a small fortress. At the edge of the camp, you see a fuel depot and a small fleet of vehicles. In the middle of the camp, you see several towering radio antennas. There's no doubt about it. You've come across a local German headquarter. headquarters. Sneaking into this well-guarded complex seems like a hopeless endeavor. Blow up the fuel dump, Jackson. I think I can handle this. Before you can reply, Jackson crawls over to the nearest machine gun nest, making good use of available cover. He throws a handful of stones at a nearby bucket, distracting the guards. He seizes his opportunity to dive between the sandbags. He hears some muffled blows and the sound of heavy machine gun fire being uh, machine gun being lifted from a stand. Moments later, a salvo of shots tears through the science, followed by a deafening explosion. Your excited shouts and gunfire, a gigantic cloud of smoke rises in the sky. The fuel dump burns brightly. Use the general chaos to make your way to the radio station. Once there, you grab a stack of files and make your escape, while the soldiers are still running around like frightened ants. When you reach safety, you take a closer look at your spoils. Secret dossier, R.E. Morton Lambert. Lambert is known to use... Known to, to us as a fence, with connections to hostile intelligence agencies. We assume that he is behind the theft of the Armenian collection from our Casablanca office. For this reason, we have detained Lambert for further questioning. Hey! So we find story and worn peacoat and some other stuff, including grenades. But did nothing less of myself. Well, that's kind of fun. It'd be neat if you could upgrade your your jeep. Like, I actually really wish there was more meta progression in this game, including like the jeep and some other stuff. Because it'd be really cool if you could actually do. Let's just do uh just flat damage. It'd be really neat if you could uh get like a better jeep and a better. See, probably accuracy. The knife crit chance and the assault rifle magazine size are kind of okay, but accuracy in this game is amazing. Uh, dossier, dossier. That's a good point. Anyway, cautiously sneak up on the temple. You spot a large group of soldiers relaxing at the temple grounds. Fight up. Let's see. I don't know. I just like games, like, if you're gonna have a game based around, like, repetition, like, play it over and over and over again, just, just give me some ridiculous tools, man. Or ridiculous tools, ridiculous things to work towards, ish. I'm pretty much not gonna be able to get within range of any of these dogs, am I? I'm gonna just move him closer. Okay. Jackson can move there. I don't know if that's going to be good cover. But nobody's going to pop out right there, so we can just shoot the dog. I think he got the message. He's a dog! You monster. I don't even know what we're up against here. 
One more dog, at the very least. God, this is making me want to play Red Alert again. Ridiculous things like the Disintegrator. That's a good point. But no, I'm, I'm talking about, like, I don't know. Where are they? I, I guess I always actually had this problem with the XCOM games. You could get some ridiculous tech by the end of it. I think it was better in XCOM 2. But I was always kind of disappointed that a lot of the uh, the gear and equipment that you could pick up were just straight up just like linear upgrades of each other. Oh. Well, I found the dog. Now this guy, yeah, this guy's got a knife. Okay, we should be able to do this. Okay, so knife, knifey, knifey. Hang? Aha! Extend my range a bit. It works, and I've got plenty of ammo for this. Okay, do we have enemies left? Oh yeah, we've got a dude up there who's just bailing? Ow. Well, we are going camping soon, so I guess it's fine. Uh, let's see. You. Miguel! Get him. There we go. Is that it? Are we good? Now we're good. Then we're gonna go camping. Uh, let's see. But I don't know. I just feel like, uh... Oh, reveal all items. Yes. Goodies. And our fuel's good. EXP is good. Everything is good. Uh, might be worth repairing the armor, too. No, I'm going to a camp, man. I know what I'm doing. Rest up. Okay, let's go around. Uh, but, like, I feel like with this game, you should almost be finding, like, crazy artifacts and stuff. Okay, you peer carefully over the ridge of the dune. A large unit of German troops are camped just beneath you. They have secured their camp with sandbags and are patrolling the grounds. Further back, you can see military jeeps and stockpiles. You look at each other. This won't be easy. What kind of equipment am I rolling here? Another jacket. Well, we can give him the worn pea coat. Not much of an upgrade, but still. Uh, this shotgun is better than that shotgun. Yeah, we have heavy armor, but only one character can actually use it. Attack! Yeah, resting repairs armor, which is really nice. I was kind of afraid it wasn't, but no. Okay, a lot of dudes really far away from me. I guess I'm just gonna run three directions, sort of. We've got a dog up there. Do dogs. Got a lot of dogs. I'm just gonna put them here. The only way I can shoot this man is if I put myself right there. I, you know, we got the range for it. It's a 100% shot. We might get dogged. But who knows? Canvas tent will block the bullets. No, it blocks line of sight so nobody can see he's there. Seems like a reasonable thing. Yeah, those dogs have a little bit... Wait, what? Okay, that one's going for the bite. Oh, that one didn't know I was there. That's why. Okay, you. Bad pooch. Go stab pooch. That's it. Hundred percent. And I haven't used to, haven't needed to use my grenades yet. Kind of for the best. Uh, let's see. If I plug him right there. End up with the doggo. And that shotgun's got really limited range, but I think it's worth it. Ow. 
Ow. I definitely misjudged how close I was to this man, but that's okay. Bleed him. Bleed him dry! Bleed for me, Nazi pig. Bleed more! Is that it? Yeah, we're good. So it took a little bit of damage, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Reveal all items. Ooh, what's this? So, higher repair. A tarnished pocket knife, some other things. Alright, let's grab that. So... Thirty-two to forty, seventeen, eighteen, or seventeen, eight. Twenty-seven to thirty-five. So the crit chance is slightly lower, but I like the flat damage bonus. So we're gonna go with this. He wonders a status after, after what he just said. Eh. I mean, it's like I'm trying to fill space here. You stop at the site of a Wehrmacht G, part on the ridge of the dune. Where will you sneak closer? As you peer over the ridge, you spot a unit of German soldiers overseen by their officer. They're working on a pyramid, the tip of which protrudes a few feet from the desert sand. The pyramid is glistening black. It looks like it's made of solid obsidian. They haven't noticed you yet. Wait and watch. After some time, you hear loud shouts. The officer pushes his soldiers excitedly aside and makes strange gestures in the air. Moments later, a passage opens in the side of the Black Pyramid. Proceed in the structure, single file. Go in. You trail the soldiers at a careful distance until they get to a small chamber that looks like an ancient place of worship. At the best of their officer, the soldiers gather around the mighty sarcophagus in the middle of the room. Working together, they pry off the slab that seals it. A ghostly light shines from the sarcophagus. The German soldiers stagger back in pain and attempt to cover their faces, screaming in agony. Moments later, there's silence. The corpses of the Germans are scattered around the open sarcophagus. Examine the contents of the sarcophagus. Before you can stop him, Jackson is already peering greedily over the edge of the sarcophagus. A blinding light fills the room and you hear Jackson's desperate screams. He is now blinded. How bad is that? Dexterity minus one. Temporary perk lasts until the end of the adventure. Oh, that's fine. Let's see. Come across an abandoned desert temple. Squad of soldiers. Abandoned. Uh, yeah, yeah, ambush. I think actually what I'm going to do instead of grinding is maybe leave the difficulty lower and then just rush through the game. Uh, just because... I hope there's more unit types that we can fight than this. Just gonna put them there. The Nazis are enjoyable to fight, but they are also just Nazis. Oh, wasted my turn. Gonna put him there. Sight on anybody? No. What about up here? Aha! So if you've got the wall, no one knows you're there. But also, true of both. Well, that's Miguel. Can't move twice in a round, I just realized. Okay, I'm going to keep my guys together. I'm not entirely sure if they know where I am. Let's see. Hmm. I think I made a mistake. There's a lot of, like, full cover here. Well, this is just going to hurt no matter what I do, I think.
I guess I'm gonna move over here. Okay, looks like I can still shoot. So we don't get sight, but we can shoot around sides and stuff. And unfortunately, I can do nothing to that man, so we're gonna get shot here, but that's okay. And it's just a dog. Wow. He could have moved then shot, but I guess that's just... Man. Let me teach you how it's done, Sonny Jim. First you take the knife, and then... Oh. Well. I'd teach you more, but I think that's the end of the lesson. Oh man, this... This really makes me want to play Red Alert again, and it also really makes me want to play, uh, Tarnished, Adler, and Stun- Okay, so it's a pistol. Reduces your agility, though, which is kind of rough. It does apparently corrosion damage. Penicillin syringe, some other stuff. Let's see, do we speed along here? Or do we kind of keep taking it slow? How are people's EXP doing? It's doing okay. Let's, honestly, let's speed it up up a little bit maybe I'm getting tired that's my main issue nothing of importance I guess I could have taken the long way around but nah let's just go kind of fast anyway turn a corner you come come face to face with a unit of German soldiers that are camped here they spot you immediately loud orders ring out and the soldiers rush frantically to seize their weapons use the few moments you have left to die for cover moments later you're engaged in a desperate battle of survival they've still got max fuel uh, in game, yes. In real life, no. I am falling asleep. I could use some ice cream. And I just, I don't know. I feel drained. It's been a long uh, couple of days because I've been sick. And I feel like, uh, you know, an earlier night, quote unquote, would do me good. Because the alternative is me being sleepy, sleepier and sleepier as we go along. And I got like errands to do tomorrow. I gotta go get a couch, maybe? I've got a hustle on the whole couch scene. Because we've got Shell's grandmother coming up shortly. Oh, it's just that trooper. That's easy. We've got Shell's grandmother coming into town kind of soon. And she's going to be staying at our place. And we actually have to get like some level of a couch to... Oh. We have to get some level of a couch for her to sleep on. We? But that's okay. Hmm. Less. That's okay. We're okay. But you. Neat. Yeah. Stabby, stabby. I don't think there's a. Yeah. Uh, we're all good. Okay, we're taking some damage here. Could use a camp soon. At least before we get to the. Uh, Get to the end. The other thing is also, like, we've still got a fair ways to go. Even before we're done with this round. So even if even if I did take, like, the direct beeline. Who knows how it's going to go? Have some authentic grandma cooking. Eh, not really. Uh, we do most of the cooking around here. Uh, Michelle's grandmother is getting old enough that she probably doesn't want to cook that much. So, Shell might have her grandmother's help, but I don't know. Anyway, in the shade of an ancient colonnade, two German soldiers have set up an improvised camp. They're clearly scouts on a reconnaissance mission. When they see you approaching, they jump frantically into their jeep and race full throttle across the dunes, leaving a huge cloud of sand behind them. You exchange somewhat confused glances. You must look fearsome indeed when your gaze falls upon the Wehrmacht crates that the two war heroes left behind in their hurry to escape. 
Quickly open the crates and rummage through their contents. You don't want to... You don't wait around to see if they return with reinforcements. That's handy. Board fight out German camp. Board looking guards. Board looking guards! No! There's no boredom out here. It's just bullets. Okay, where even are they? I kind of see him. Seeing as I seem to always go first, it kind of makes my life easier. Okay, can I can I shoot this guy? We only have three apparent three enemies apparently. Okay. I could chuck a grenade into their midst. But I don't have many of those. Jackson. Miss. Okay, so somebody, probably Jackson, is going to get shot here. Unless we're really lucky. Yep. Owie. We did bring some drugs. So we'll probably just make use of them. I didn't know if this guy was behind cover because he, he wasn't crouching, so I was assuming he wasn't, but... He was, in fact, behind cover. Well, that's unfortunate. But still learning the rules a little. And also, you can't, like, rotate 3D-wise, so it's like, eh. Ooh, pocket knife. Fair bit better than the tarnished stiletto, probably. I might have an... Does everybody? No. Tarnished pocket knife versus a pocket knife pocket knife. Well, who has the bigger agility? He does. Okay, let's go shopping. And then probably maybe heal up an area a character? I don't know. You revive characters. Hmm. Lab assistance coat, light armor, worn leather jacket. Unfortunately, most of these items seem to be kind of eh. Okay, Traveler. Reward three car fuel. We'll save that for later. You're racing along the endless desert track when suddenly a massive jet of steam and hot water shoots out of the front of your Jeep. Splashes against your windshield. Your radiator is boiled over. You Step on the brakes and get out to investigate the damage. Fortunately, the engine is in good working order. Take a force break and look for the radiator cap in the desert. Sand as you wait for the engine to cool down. New water in the cooler. You continue on your journey. Yeah, I could keep going. I pretty much... With that bonus fuel, you can actually see the entire round, but... I wonder if it's always the exact same output outcome here. Okay, well, let's put him there. Miguel there, him there. Jackson. Oh, I see. I see the, I see the guy. If I just go up here, I don't actually know if we have a... A fourth Nazi. If we're lucky, there's only three. We're lucky. Could have been paying attention. I could have been paying more attention. But that's okay. From a distance, you see the massive sarcophagus that dominates the entire room. Surrounded by pillars, you approach the colossal stone coffin and examine it carefully. This, the sarcophagus has survived the millennia untouched by grave robbers. Working together, you manage to lift the heavy stone lid aside with your heart and your mouth. You finally peer inside. And we get loot. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking my sweet time a little bit here, but anyway. Rums and colors in the distance turned out to be nothing more than a mount of useless trash dumped here. Really? We don't get to rest before the final confrontation. Oh well. Make your way even deeper into the old burial chamber and you finally find, uh, finally stand in front of an ancient sarcophagus. Contents are scattered around the chamber. Grave robbers. Oh, we still get some more fuel.
You see the fortified base of the excavation regiment southwest on the valley plain ahead. You have finally reached your goal. As you're considering how to make it through the heavily guarded entrance, you suddenly spot a lone vermarked... Okay, it's the same... It's the same everything. I wonder if the uh, layout's the exact same. Or if this is at least procedurally generated. Uh... Yeah, it's different. No, it's not. It kind of is? It's like slightly... I think it's the same layout, but... I don't know. Anyway. I'm gonna put Commander's Shotgun right here. Oh. That's a Shock Trooper. Okay, I'm gonna move him here. Oh, is that the backside of a Shock Trooper? Oh. Well, he's dead. Well, do we get up in there? I should be able to shoot this guy from here, actually. I can shoot the medic. As long as he's in the back, it's not a big deal. Where's the other guy? Oh, that's a dog. Well, the medic's gonna heal itself, so we'll shoot the dog first. Because, yeah, the medic, the medic always heals, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, you made a goof. You made a goof, good sir. First fire. That's it. <laughs> if conserving ammo does anything for us in this game. shoot at that guy. Yeah, pretty far away. So we're just gonna wait. Okay. Can I get in there? Can I get in stabbing distance? Yeah, Jackson! Action, Jackson! Bleed him to death! No survivors. Maybe I should reload. Sure. Mission's over, but sure. Okay, same deal. So what goodies did we get this time? Because I'm probably going to have to sell some of it. Oh no. We get to keep it all. Cool. It doesn't look like the loot for this mission is really worth doing. The cash is nice, but the I don't think there's a store that you can spend that extra cash at, at anywhere. I don't, I don't see like a shop or any kind of like extra thing here. So really it's just picking up extra fuel early on which makes sense so yeah I think uh I think what I'm gonna do just because you know I am a bit of a lazy sod and also like you know would like to see the end of this game I might turn down the difficulty a notch or two and we'll just try and play through the next four missions straight tomorrow uh you know and just see how it goes and if it turns out that it's still too easy maybe we'll redo it on a harder difficulty but it probably won't with the way everything scales up. Like, I'm probably going to get here, and then it's going to get too hard, and then I have to grind. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Pathway. And as always, thanks for watching.